as a small business owner, as a solopreneur. Asking questions can have one of the biggest positive impacts on your business growth and anything else you can do. There's a good book on asking questions by Paul Cherry, and I studied this book. But you've got to ask the right questions. Don't ask questions like, where do you buy now? How much do you pay for this? Hey, do you want to save some money? Because questions can make you look smart, look like the expert in your field, but they can also make us look dumb. And we don't want that. Hi, Jim McIntyre, owner of Blueprint Pro Selling. I help small business owners do the kind of work that they're proud of, increase their sales, and create the future they want to live in. And I want to go over today about asking questions. Because your clients are looking for increased efficiency, improved income, things that are easier, faster, safer, better, less hassle, more consistency, anything along those lines they're looking for. If you can key on that, that can help you. But you've got to ask questions, questions that are thought provoking, questions that make them realize that not only are you smart, but you possibly have the solution to the problem they're facing. I used to deal I had my wholesale business years ago with many principals of car dealerships, the owners. And when I would sit with them, I would always ask a question right off the bat, but I would know the answer like a good lawyer would know the answer before I asked the question. I sold equipment to these dealerships and I'd ask them, presently, you're, su you're subletting 22 jobs a year to somebody else to do this work. These jobs are on $1,600. That relates to over $35,000 that you pay out and most of it's labor. What impact would that make to your bottom line? I knew right off the bat, it made about a $20,000 different impact to the positive for them if they invest in this equipment. Already off the bat, no matter how much I was selling that equipment for, they were aware that it was going to save them, make them an additional $20,000 right to the bottom line. So come up with your questions that are thought-provoking, specific to that customer. You already studying what problems they're facing. If you'd like to reach out to me for five questions to help you, go ahead, contact me. I'll be glad to help you with some answers. And remember to always believe in yourself.